Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a look at the Asus Store Drive Store 4 Pro, also known as AS3304. I will leave some links down below so that you guys can check out all the specifications and whatnot. But on this particular video, we will be checking out a few interesting things. Now, what I'm using also is the Asus Store 2.5 gigabit switch, which is just awesome. We did review it and test it out, so I will leave some links right over here in the YouTube cards or down below on the video description. I'm using a separate 10 gigabit uh, Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter using my MacBook Pro and to record the audio Comic Boom XD Pro. So when I do my final review i will have a few videos right over here that i can uh, target you to listen to the audio and if you like it or not now that being said let's take a look at the asus store drive store for pro and in a few moments we will also take a look right over here at the dashboard now this is a four bay unit nash and i'm using the toshiba n300 right over here. i did an unboxing video on my Puchkis channel so if you want to check that out i will also leave some links right over here now it is very easy to put in the drives because we don't need screws and i just love this without any tools we have the discs ready in no time in terms of specifications it has a realtek 1296 cpu 2 gigabytes of ddr4 ram and a ethernet connection of 2.5 gigabits it also has two usb 3.0 uh, ports at the back and one USB 3.0 at the front. Really nice LEDs at the front that will give us a lot of information. And then it has this magnetic door right over here, which is really cool. The only thing that might be not so cool is that it has a piano glossy black plastic, which looks awesome, but it will uh, leave our fingerprints right over here. So my suggestion is clean it and do not touch that much at the front. For those of you that are here for the first time and looking at this for the first time, we have to see it first of all as our personal cloud. If you are using OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox or something like that, this is our personal cloud. I can access and put data right over here, my documents, my pictures and so on and so forth from anywhere in the world and I don't have to pay a monthly fee or something like that and I can have a huge storage depending on the drives that I use. But besides that, we can do a lot as we will see some of those examples. Now, one of the things that I would like to mention is the USB 3.0 ports right over here will be great if we want to back up, for example, for an external USB drive or if I want to back up that external um, USB drive inside the NASH. So that is a great option. Also, let's say that I use a thumb drive on my daily usage at work and then I arrive home, just plug it in right over here, press the button and it will back up everything. The next day, I just plug it out, go to work, make the changes that I have to do. And once I get home again, I just put it right over here and it will back up again. So this is one of the things and it, it does a lot more than this, but these simple things are just, just awesome. In terms of speed tests, I did test out with all this that I'm using right over here. And what I got was the maximum capacity, which is 250 megabytes or so of reads and on writes. And in terms of the operating system, as I did said, um, the 3304 is using the ADM 4.0 that we have seen right here on the channel but let's take a look at some of the things that I really enjoy first of all the simplicity of it works awesome it has some shortcuts right over here this one for example is my favorite where I just press that button and it will take me to the most important things at least in my opinion we have the settings right over here, general settings and so on and so forth. We have the access control where I can create more users, I can create groups, and then I can limit or unlimit those users inside those groups. And then I've got the main services right over here, which I can activate and deactivate. For example, if I go here to the hardware, it will take me right to this menu where I have energy control, power and fan control. By the way, it's very, very silent. Actually, silent. The only thing that I do here is the drives when they are accessing to read and to write that is it but the fan uh, we don't hear it at all but we can adjust right over here i always leave it on auto but we can adjust manually so this is a great shortcut which i can also go if i press here so the same menu is just a different way of accessing it now if i press right over here and i did just uh, record in Portuguese but I was just doing a test if I want to see what happens 
is to install the apps, which is the app central. Of course, I can just search right over there and it will give me the suggestions. So I just open this one and I can install a lot of apps. And this is indeed one of my favorite features. Now, this is our personal cloud, but once we have the ability to have a software such as this one, we can install a lot of things and turn this into a full fledged computer that can do a lot. Yesterday, I did share with you how to install Home Assistant on a NAS, two different ISO store NAS, one with a few limitations and the other one without any limitations at all. So different installations, but this is just the beauty of it. And if we look at the screen, here we are with Home Assistant that we did install yesterday. Now regarding the App Central, what I would like to share with you is that there are so many apps that if you go to the Asus Store website and if you search for Asus Store App Central on Google, you will find this page. And if you are wondering which NASH you should choose based on the apps that you can install, because they have different capabilities depending on the CPU that we have inside. If you go right over here and select this one, which is the Series AS33, Drive Store Pro series, but yesterday we were using the AS66 Locker Store um, right over here, the four versions. So they are different, and you will be able to at home in a relaxed environment, and you don't need to be listening to this video. So just check the apps. Now, in this particular uh, example, I did select the category of backup and sync, so it will show me um, 20 apps for backup and sync, which is just awesome. But we can select all or we can check out each one of these that we have right over here. So this is my suggestion if you want to know exactly what the apps are. Now, there are a few more apps that we can install manually, but those are not guaranteed. So these are the official ones that Asus Store just says that these will work 100% without any issues. Now, going back to the dashboard right over here, we will be able to do a lot. Now, one of the things that I usually uh, mention is Plex Media Server because it's just a awesome experience. In a couple of minutes, we can install Plex Server right over here and then stream our movies to mobile phones, Android TV boxes, mini computers, whatever we use at home or outside our home. And talking about that, we can go to the categories and if we go to um, media server, we will see the Plex server. We will also see MB server, which are the ones that I use. But we have a lot more options right over here, as you guys can check that out. And we have a, a lot of categories right over here. But for the apps, I would suggest as we did before. Now, things that I would like to mention as well, besides the options, is the storage manager, for, for example, that will give me a lot of information about the volumes, the disks that I'm using. At this moment, I'm using four disks, so four terabytes each with RAID 5 right over here. So I have redundancy. If one of the drives fail, I can just replace it and bam, it will work just, just fine. So this is just awesome in terms of redundancy. I also have the sync manager right over here that will show me, hey, do you want to back up your computer? Just download this. You want to back up your mobile phone, back up this um, Android and iOS and just awesome. It also has a lot of mobile apps so that we can use. It's another great choice. And that is it for today's video. Hopefully this video was helpful to take a few questions out of the way regarding the Asus Store 3304. If you still have any questions, drop a comment down below. A huge thumbs up to you on that side of the screen. If the video was helpful in some way, don't forget to leave that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.